Read your cards. It's been uh, quite a trip. Uh, we do welcome you here this morning. Uh, we got started about three years ago in this process. Uh, it took about a year and a half for some planning. We started by having RFQs for requests for qualifications. We had probably 22 uh, entries to uh, different uh, construction companies that uh, wanted to come and uh, give us their, their, their shot at building this uh, facility. We picked six and interviewed those, but those would pick Sherman Construction. Uh, we had probably a half a dozen meetings with them telling them what we wanted. They would come back and it was a negotiation to get where we are. But uh, this facility is a multi use recreational facility. And as you tour today, you'll see that there are multiple facets to the building that can be used together. We are paying for it with a revenue bond that we are being financed with uh, hospitality dollars. That's a 2% tax on prepared foods. By state law, it has to go to tourist-related uh, events. And 50% of it has to be spent on capital projects. So we're in the process of building. It'll take us about 15 years to get this prepared. At this time, I'll ask uh, Mayor Snyder to speak with me. I'd love to have a few words. Now, I'm sorry. Brian Cheeks, if uh, you would come up and uh, give us a prayer dedication. He is the pastor at uh, Springfield Missionary Baptist Church. That's great. <coughs> Precious and eternal God, our Father, which art in heaven, the creator, the sustainer, the giver of every good and perfect gift. We pause to thank you for life, health, and strength. We pause to thank you for the vision and the leadership of Lawrence City. We thank you for the vision that has come to pass. We pray now, God, that these grounds would be dedicated and consecrated to shape and mold lives to come. That even, God, when we have passed from this life into life eternal, generations will be born and rise and call those who have paved the way blessed. I pray for the leadership of Lawrence. I pray for Jason and his staff and all other persons. And I pray, God, for young people that will enter these doors, that their lives will be shaped and molded offer great contributions to the city of Lawrence, the county of Lawrence, and surrounding cities and counties. We bless your name. We consecrate this building. In the name of our Christ, we pray. And the people of God said, amen. Amen. It took so long to get the building built that uh, we're trying to get ahead of us. So, uh, Mayor John Stankis. I don't think I'm getting that microphone. Can you hear me in the back? No. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you don't want to hear me. <laughs> I uh, told Gary yesterday, I don't think I'm getting that microphone. I uh, heard 750 kids for all those years. And uh, I could walk into the gymnasium. We had programs in the auditorium. And everybody got quiet. And I appreciate y'all being quiet. But, that's good. <coughs> but anyway, uh, wait for this day for a long time. Before we get started, I do want to recognize a few people. Honorable Mike Pitts, a representative. Mark Willis, one of our representatives, and, and our council members, and former Mayor Sharon Bradley. Um, and all you special guests out there. Every one of you are special, so I'm not going to call you by name because we'd be here all day. And quite frankly, I'm probably going to get that name because I'm getting to that age now where I have to remember whether I tie my right shoe or my left shoe. So, anyway. We do have two uh, people in here I do want to recognize. Bob, if you'll stand up in the back, Mayor Clinton and John Carter, the uh, mayor of Great uh, I've known John a long time. I've taught at Pleasant View, believe it or not, years ago. And 
uh, John was mayor then, and I met him back when I was teaching uh, first, second, third grade uh, PE and math. But it's nice to have all you folks here. I'm glad the weather has cooperated with us and that uh, we can have a good opening. You see the ridge. <clears throat> Two years ago when you came by, you saw a hillside. And now our dreams come true. And we're not true. We have a lot of work to do on the outside, a lot of landscaping that will be done in phases to make this a show place for the city of Lawrence. And we hope a facility that all you folks sit here will use from time to time. I know that uh, our recreation director is already beginning planning for adult events, and uh, we hope you will participate in it. We're, we're even going to have a geriatric uh, physical fitness program for King, people like King Dixon and I. You know, we can participate in it. But uh, anyway, future growth. We have 50 acres behind this site, and through the years, we're developing to recreation facility. We probably won't be here to see it, and I know we'll be popping back in the city plans. We uh, will be extending the parking facilities as, as money will allow us. Like uh, Gary said, everything in this building has been, been paid for by uh, hospitality. And it might come out of your pockets directly, but please keep buying those hamburgers and that fried chicken and that barbecue inside the city limits. Lawrence. We'll make this building off and move forward with some other things. Um, the flagpole you see out front is uh, a gift from Johnny Bolt and uh, Women of the World. And we will have a dedication ceremony on September the 9th uh, in honor of uh, 911 and to dedicate that flagpole. Uh, Johnny's been gracious enough along with Women of the World to, uh, in conjunction with them, we're working by himself sent a lot of flagpoles to this community. And we we're most grateful for that. So we appreciate that. Um, like I said, we still have a long way to go. But we're going to get there. And this is the first step. This is the first day of the beginning for the bridge. And we are just most thankful that uh, the people have worked hard. Gary has been a, a driving force behind this. City officials, we appreciate everything you've done for us. There's heads of departments who work diligently hand in hand with us. Um, could have done it without you. We continue to need your support. And I don't know of a more fitting time to open the bridge than the middle of the Olympics. And uh, all I can say is go USA. <laughs> Just proud of those folks that dedicated their lives to uh, their individual sports. I can go on and on and on, but I'm not going to because you're not here to hear me talk. You're not here to hear everybody uh, up here on the stage who has something to say. We ask you to be patient. We thank you for coming. You are welcome here. You're welcome to any facility in the city. And uh, we hope that uh, you enjoy today. And like I said, I hope you will use this building in the future. Thank you. Next, we're going to have uh, speak is uh, our previous mayor, Cheryl Bradley. And John mentioned the driving force. She is the driving force behind this song.
not a point that we don't get to have. We can have where there's a vision and where there's a lot of cooperation. Uh, Lawrence can do anything we set our mind to do. We are a great city. We are a unique city. We are a veteran community to the larger communities around us. And just like Greatport, Greatport's merging into Greenville. And uh, uh, Clinton, we're glad to see the mayor here from Clinton and all the, the folks from Clinton. This is for you too. This is not just for Lawrence. This is for our county. I see Marvin Moss back there and, and uh, a lot of the visionary people that have helped to make Lawrence great. And this is a place that we can all come to. When we were putting this uh, uh, plan together, when we were meeting with the architect, did listen to everything we said. Those first meetings were so interesting because the city council, I'm grateful for the city council because they were on board 100% with what we wanted to do here. And um, I think it was a unanimous vote, even though there was some scrutiny about what we were doing. And I know at the beginning, uh, there was some question when we called it a civic center. Uh, people associated it with the Civic Center down in Greenwood and some other civic centers. But when you see the building today, you will realize why we were thinking more civic because it is for the entire community. It is not just for recreation. This part here and other portions of the building are for our adults that aren't into recreation. This room right here, we call it the activity room. Our barn doors, aren't they beautiful? And on the other side of those doors is one of the gym bases. When we were talking to the architect, we told him one thing we did not want was for this facility and on this hill on the ridge, we did not want it to look like two gym bases. We wanted it to be a representative of a modern, modern structure, and it is. It's basically maintenance free. Uh, you'll see a lot of metal and a lot of natural material. That was because we designed it that way. We wanted it to be as much of the earth as it could. And Gann, the architect, he said that he would build the building to fit into the land, not the land around the building. So we have been meshed into the land, and it's really nice to be here today. I'm not going to speak long, but I want you to know that this facility takes care of our youth, our recreation, our adults, it also women's Place right here. I can just envision a wedding, a reception. It's, it's just an extraordinary room. The whole building is extraordinary. And I'm just really proud of it. I'm proud of the work we've done. Gary, he ran with it after uh, the election. I was not around to run with it, but they were kind enough to keep me posted and keep me uh, abreast of everything that was being done here. And they were very kind to even come pick me up and bring me over many, many and I was grateful for that. Gwen made sure that I was here, and uh, I know she really wanted me to be a part of today, and I did too. So thank you. Thank you very much for being here today and <coughs> making this celebration a real celebration for all of our community. I'm going to follow suit and not use the microphone. If you can't hear me, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> you know, to be a good leader, it takes vision and it takes courage. It takes vision to see what needs to be done and it takes the courage to continue to move forward against naysayers, against obstinates, and against those with no vision. That's not easy. And quite often you pay a price for it. I like this building. I did from the very first time Mayor Brown Lee and I talked about the vision for this. Where else can I hold a political event or the rest of the delegation hold a political event in Lawrence in a proper venue? Where else can the NWTF, the National Wild Turkey Federation, or the uh, NRA hold one of their fundraising events in a good venue. Lawrence needed this. Thank you for having the vision to do it. At this time, I'll turn it over to Senator Burke. 
Thank you, Mike. Vision has been the theme of the morning. In a spiritual sense, where there's no vision, the people perish. For 230 plus years, there's been community here. There's been vision. We've not perished, we've flourished. So I salute, I'm one of those people, Mayor Stankus, that's on the outside, not collecting that sales tax for you. But if I felt any less a part of the community, I wouldn't be standing here. I think, and the, the tip of the hat to the extended uh, large community, thank you for that. We are all one big community, and this is the semblance. Yes, we want to live, work, play as close as we can. Commune is what we want to do. So to the town fathers, the visionaries, I thank you and salute you. Thank you, Mike, and thank you, Senator Burton. <coughs> Today is a very special day in the community of Lawrence, and as uh, the former Mayor Brownlee was sharing, this is for the entire Lawrence County. People will reach out through different venues to come here to celebrate their families, to celebrate children, celebrate senior adults, and a wonderful place, as Senator Burton was saying, for community to come together. What a better person to kick off today than um, Sharon Brownlee. Um, I was thinking, you know, Hillary Clinton is forever saying that she has shattered the ceiling for women. But I think, little did she know, Sharon Brownlee was shattering the ceiling for women in Lawrence County long before Hillary Clinton came up with that. about the many things that uh, Ms. Brownlee has accomplished, the, the list goes on and on, but she was a pioneer in her day. We can think back to the, to the Lawrence Glass plant, we can think back to ways that she set the standards for women to move forward, and she um, was able to become mayor of this wonderful city, and so today, um, your family worked very hard to be able to pull this together, and that you uh, want to make sure that they or recognize today. Some of her children are here today, and grandchildren. If y'all don't mind standing up, we appreciate it. <laughs> I think more than anything, I would like to speak for you on behalf. I think that that's your biggest accomplishment. Is your <laughs> but on behalf of our Lawrence delegation, we would like to present you with this House resolution, recognizing you for all of your service your service um, within your community, your church, your family, and the business world. Congratulations.
Well, I guess that's the reason I stayed for last. I didn't know I would have to get up here this, this morning, but uh, when we came in here, said, y'all going to have to speak. Well, I was going to sit back here. But anyway, uh, I do appreciate the opportunity to be here this morning. And, uh, I do look over this, this crowd here. Man, this is great. Uh, a great uh, representation of our whole community. You know, we got them here. Town of Waterloo, Great Court, Clinton, so, uh, and of course, Knox County. But we're just glad to, uh, you know, this building here, uh, I'm proud to see. Uh, I guess uh, Ben was senior, as Gary called me there, uh, with 30 plus years, I guess, on council. Uh, this is probably the biggest dedication that I can call to actually have. And I, I'm proud to be one of that. So I just enjoy working with the city. All the mayors I've worked with, I've tried to work with them. But uh, this, is, this is something to say. And I'm not going to say a whole lot because what else can I say? I mean, you've heard from us. The delegation, you've heard from the council members. So, but uh, I am proud of this building. I'm proud of being on city council. I enjoy working with people. I enjoy being with people. And as long as the good Lord lets me, I, I'm going to be around people. I love people. I love the city of Lawrence. I think people realize that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have spent 30 years on council. I've seen a lot of them come and go. So. But anyway, it is an honor to uh, welcome you all here today for this uh, dedication. And I'm just glad to be proud of it. appreciate you all coming. And uh, we look forward to future things to be happening. And just hope that we're all around to see them happen. So, thank you again. I would like to say a special thank you to the Commission of Public Works, John Young, Chairman, for the work that they did. Uh, it wasn't free, but it was pretty close. We do appreciate it. <laughs> At this time, Recreation Director Jason Dregen will close out our comments and we'll get started on the tours. <laughs> Yeah, we want to thank everybody for coming today. We're really excited. Uh, it's been a long journey. I don't know if July 1st, 2005 means anything to you guys, but it means a lot to me because it shaped the way that I was leading my family and my future because that was my first day working here at the City of Lawrence. Um, so it's been a little over 11 years, and we started with nothing. Uh, Mayor Brown Lee hired me on, and she told me when we started that we had a, a big hill to climb, and by far we've gotten there. We, we feel like it's very fitting that the ridge is on a hill because that's where we've been going the whole time. It started with nothing, but we didn't get here just by ourselves. We had a lot of help, and I want to just thank a few of our partners that we've had because without them, we could not be here. Uh, Lawrence District 55, they've let us use their facilities and bar gyms and bar fields. Without them, we could not have the programs that we have today. Lawrence County. The first program we hosted was youth football, and we played all of our games out of Lawrence County Park. We appreciate what they did for us. <laughs> Lawrence YMCA, many people thought we'd never get along. 11 years ago, a lot of people said it never worked. Today, myself and Brian, we work together on all of our programs, we talk, we communicate, and we partner on all of our events. And that partnership has been great for this town. Lawrence Academy has had a place in it because they've given us a place to play football, and we thank them for, for sharing their fields with us. And the last place that we had, we built City Park, we built the baseball fields, we built the tennis courts, we built the football field, but we didn't have a gym. That's when Springfield Missionary Baptist Church stepped up with Reverend Brian Cheeks. For the last five years, we ran our basketball program out of their gym, and four to five nights a week, it was absolutely full. It was absolutely full. We had some of the greatest games and, and times we've had a lot of kids' lives in that gym has been molded to where we got them on the right road. So Reverend Cheeks, I want to thank you and the church for giving us a home to play basketball. We really appreciate y'all being a partner of what we've done. Where we're going from here, this, this place was built not only for meetings like this, but we're going to host volleyball tournaments. We want to host basketball tournaments. There's a lot going on that, that we have plans for. 
It's going to be a home for our recreation department. We're going to run all of our programs out of here. We're not going to be at the Little River Park anymore. You'll come here to register and get all your questions answered and all that good stuff. Uh, my athletic director, Justin Smith, is here today. He heads up all of our sports programs. So make sure you meet him today and, and know who he is because he's the guy that's going to be leading your children. We are very proud to have this home, the Ridge at Lawrence, for our recreation center. But not just for Lawrence. If you don't know, 50% of our youth participants come from outside the city of Lawrence. We absolutely uh, give programs to the entire county. We are very, very proud to do that. From Joanna to Great Court to Waterloo, Lawrence and Clinton, we have kids from everywhere. And without them, we wouldn't have a program. The children and the parents is what have, allows you to have a program and that's awesome. We're feeding kids from all the school districts, and, and the relationships that we've had has, has been fantastic. Last but not least, we couldn't do what we do as a recreation department without the leadership from city council, our city manager, and our mayor. They've guided us, given us opportunities to provide you with some great programs, some great opportunities, not only from July 1, 2005, now to August 9, 2016. But we're not done growing. We ask that you come to us. Give us your ideas. What would you like to see here? We're going to start with a clean slate. We don't have things going next week. We don't have things going next week. We want to provide what you want. What do our citizens want? Do they want kickball? Do they want dodgeball? Do they want basketball? What do you want is what we want to provide. We don't want to stereotype ourselves as a recreation department. We want to be everything. We want to provide everything that we possibly can. We've had some big meetings already with people excited to have their functions in. You know, when we get our parking situated, we're going to be able to house a lot of people in this building. So we're excited. We hope you're excited because this is a great step for Lawrence, Lawrence County, and really upstate South Carolina because we're going to provide something for everybody. At this time, unless Mr. Coleman wants to come back up, we want to thank everybody for attending. It makes us feel special to know that we mean enough to you to come out and check out our new facility and our ground uh, or our ribbon cutting. We want to thank uh, Greg Alexander for providing the ribbon and everything. Once we're done, we're going to go outside in the front and we're going to cut our ribbon. That's still what we're doing. We've got light refreshments over in the concession stand or, or the cafe area. Get you some uh, Chick fil A has catered the event. Get you some nuggets, some lemonade drinks. Got a cookie. Make sure you save me a cookie, though. i got to have one of them. <laughs> and uh, other than that, if, you, if you'd like to ask questions, get a tour, feel free. All the doors will be open. You can go around and check it out. Thank you all. We love you. We love this county. We love this city. Thank you for being a part of the day, the Ridge Lawn. <laughs> At this time, we'll go to the front. Where do we look first? Tell me when. Right in the center. One, two, one, two, three. Two, there you go. Yay! <laughs> Let's just jump in. I mean, this is a major day for the city of Lawrence. It really is. Uh, you know, I said earlier, July 1st, 2005, we started with nothing. Um, we had some old dilapidated fields, some old dilapidated tennis courts, but that was it. And today, I'll put our facilities up against anybody in the state, especially for a city our size. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a landmark day for, for the city of Lawrence and Lawrence County. How much have the facilities even surpassed your expectations? Oh, wow. You know, you always dream of having the best of the best. But uh, with the leadership we've had from our city manager and our mayors, it's allowed us to have the best of the best. It, it's really, uh, it's to the point now where I believe our facilities are so good. When we go out of town to play all-stars or, or basketball tournaments, people take it take for granted how good we have it. They get to other places and they say, wow, you know, how, look how good our fields are compared to what everybody else has. So uh, it's a uh, it's a great feeling as a recreation director to know that we're not only providing the strong programs, but our facilities our kids get to grow up in are, are first rate. When was ground broken on the, on the facility? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, I want to say last summer. I think they've been in construction a year. Um, you know, originally the, the, the origin, original date was December 1st of 15, and then some delays in ground and planning and, and drawings and things like that pushed it to uh, the final date of here, you know, last couple of weeks is when we got in here. Now, you mentioned during your little talk, during the uh, dedication to it, that you talked about you had a hill to climb when you came here, and you mentioned the improvements and 
Lawrence City Park, especially the baseball fields, the tennis courts, and then you kind of close it up with an analogy that the ridge is setting up on the hill. That's right. But you also mentioned in there that you're not done. Uh, the 50 acres behind here, you said, gives you plenty of room for expansion. Any long-range plans on that? Well, the, the building was designed to where um, one end of our gym, uh, we, we call it Gym B, is that's where we can grow with another gym. And off of our restroom area, we can grow with more offices or more meeting rooms or locker rooms or whatever we need to. So the expansion of this building, the, the, the ground is already set for that. But we do have 50 acres behind us here that the, if things keep going the way they're going, we're going to put, you know, any type of sports field. You know, we want to even grow to where we were even offering lacrosse or things that just normal recreations in small counties like this are not offering. Um, but we, we want to grow. Our, you know, like volleyball. We're starting up volleyball this fall. And to my knowledge, there's no other volleyball program in uh, in the county. So uh, we're just wanting to provide things that not everybody's a baseball player, not everybody plays football or cheerleads. There's other things that kids want to do and adults want to do. You know, one of the first things we're going to try to get going is a dodgeball league, you know, come out and have dodgeball night. So, uh, you know, just little things like that. And, and our growth is, you know, it's hard to put a cap on what we what we can see for the future. Have you heard or talked to anybody in terms of what – tournaments you want to have or may have coming up in the near future? I have had several calls from uh, three different basketball uh, promoters or teams or organizations about bringing some things in here. Um, they're getting information and, and we're giving them our pricing and what they get and things like that. So we, we're hoping to have, you know, and it's not us that hosts the tournament. We just provide facilities. So we're hoping to have two before uh, before December. Now I know that's not AAU travel ball tournament season, but if we can get a couple of a couple of days in here, that would be great. Now you mentioned also in your presentation thanking some people for use of their facilities. Now you're actually going to be able to have your own basketball facilities here, where you haven't. And of course, you've already started hosting some little league tournaments, right. both at your fields, and I know you had one up at Lawrence, just at 55 High School. So you've had a lot of help and support from the community. Absolutely, from. From day one, we have not been able to have, you know, everything on our own. We've had to beg, borrow, and, and, you know, use other people's facilities. Lawrence District 55 has been phenomenal to us, like I said, using their baseball field. And, you know, like I said, Lawrence Academy's played a part. Lawrence County Recreation and, and, and one of our new partners, the Lawrence YMCA. Without all these guys, we wouldn't be where we're at. But now we want to be able to provide the facilities if they need them we feel like you know that uh, the high school could come in here and and use it for tournaments or wrestling or volleyball and you know it just provides another avenue for everybody to to have part and and bring more to lawrence and lawrence county well congratulations on the new facility and i'm looking forward to see the growth out here absolutely i'm excited i can't wait can't blame you for that thank you jason thanks guys